Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3. Last time we defeated Magnet Man, and now it's time to take on Hard Man. <laughs> Hard Man. Oh, I'm juvenile. That's okay. But again, probably one of the most unfortunately named robot masters in Mega Man history. I'm sure that doesn't make it is not as big a deal in Japan as it is over here, but poor poor hard man. I know he's been the butt of many a joke. Anyway here you can easily take this guy out with magnet missile, but I'm going to conserve it. Jump up here with rush coil. And then, uh, jump over his hammers, if I can time it correctly, which seemed to be a bit harder than I, I had anticipated it would be. These guys are a pain in the butt. This first one you can get rid of pretty easily, because you have a, a, a way to shoot at him. Otherwise, they, um, oops, don't jump. Don't jump! Mega Man, dude! But yeah, they jump back and forth. It might just be better to use Magnet Missile. I'm trying to conserve it because it's this stage's boss weakness, but it might not be worth my time to do that. Anyway, there's some health if you need it. Yeah, so Magnet Missile just works like that, and it takes four of those to kill those guys, so... Magnum Missile does use quite a bit um, of, of ammo, so it's very easy to run out of it quickly, which is why I'm trying not to use it. That last one, I don't know. Anyway, if we come up to this um, higher path, we can grab an E-Tank, get rid of that guy. This is a good place to grind for weapon energy if you, if you need it, because you can just make that guy reappear. And by standing here, you're at a... Why didn't you show up? What's going on? All right, fine. Whatever. But yeah, you can shoot from that spot and, and kill him. I'm not go I wasn't going back far, far enough to make that worthwhile. You can come up either side here. You'll be greeted by a Met. And if you go this way, there's also some life energy for you. A little bit. Um, so you may have seen in the, the last screen that you can scroll back and get rid of these these bees. That's what happens if you don't do that. It'll drop like a little hive and five bees will come out and home in on you. Not a great thing. And Proto Man once again shows up. This area is a little harder to, uh, to get him um, because you're not on a level playing field and he's jumping around. He's just kind of hard to dodge. Um, as is the case with any robot master or boss, it's better to take uh, your hits from um, one of their weapons than it is to go into direct contact with um, the the boss itself. And that was the uh, Mega Man 3 version of the big giant hopping enemies that are in every single Mega Man game pretty much so hard man will shoot his his hands at you and then crash into the ground and freezes you it doesn't matter if you're in the air or not it'll freeze you no matter where you are but he does take four damage from the magnet missile so he goes down pretty easy oh, you can see how much ammo I had to use up just to do that but for defeating Hard Man, we get his weapon, which is the Hard Knuckle, which um, basically shoots a giant slow-moving fist that goes across the screen. Um, not the greatest weapon ever, but it does have its uses, uh, and we will be using it um, quite a bit. And like I said before, Hard Knuckle is actually the weakness for Top Man. Um, and that closes the loop on these five robot masters. Um, 
and the the three that are remaining snake man needle man and gemini man they have their own circle of of weaknesses which we'll get into next time on let's play mega man 3 see you then